For thousands, if not millions of years, Asia has been having its own night markets. For the past couple of decades, the U.S. has hopped on the bandwagon, and today I present to you San Francisco's very own first ever night market in the Richmond district. Only a few blocks from my house, I had to check this out. The market ran from 4 to 8 p.m. and provided food, music, performances, activities, and items for sale. The vibe was positive and it was awesome to see the community and local merchants involved in such an amazing market. The turnout was great. If you're visiting or don't know the Avs, there'll be three more night markets this summer. I'm going to attach the link for the website in the description for more information. Now let's check this market out. The food was very diverse. Whether you want something from the booths or the local restaurants, you had your choice. Most of the booths sold Asian food. But if you want good old American food or Mexican, you can go to the iconic local joints, Bill's Place or Gordo's. What is this right here? What is he making? He's making the best mochi. Okay, that's what's up. The performances were fun to watch. It's nice to see youngsters putting it down, and I'm pretty sure they're all abs heads from our community. Some of the performances were funny, but hey, they're kids. Hey, if you made it this far and you're enjoying the video, why not like and subscribe? Many of the activities were geared towards children, but nothing wrong with letting your inner child out. Legos, bubbles, chalk, mahjong tables, and the Four Star, our local and iconic theater, even opened its doors and showed short films for free. Old school. <laughs> I'm super picky with my music, but when I heard the DJ playing some Claude Von Stroke on that Dirty Bird label, I was positively surprised that the night market plays better electronic music than most clubs. Hope this DJ performs at all of them. It's been a long time since I heard anything real good outside of my house. Okay, over here, counterculture. Uh, some Claude Von Stroke we got. Finally turned to Finally, the vibe was great. Everyone was respectful, lots of diversity, it was well organized, no drama, and there was a good turnout. Check it out for yourselves. Hey folks, Frisco Romer here. I enjoy making videos, especially during these times of fake and highly exaggerated social media. San Francisco gets such a bad rep online, and YouTubers visit a place for a few days, make a video, and think they're experts. This is why I started making videos, to add a little more realism and a different perspective. If you want to know why I think the Richmond District is the best neighborhood in the city, click the video on the right. If you want to hear more of my perspective on San Francisco, click on the left playlist. If you like travel and want a more honest perspective on the topic and the focus is not on me but the actual location, check out my channel. Peace and keep being curious.
just want to say, uh, if you're hungry, uh, after you browse this up and down the streets, uh, uh, you know, on Clement, I have a few recommendations for you. If you are uh, looking for ramen, there is uh, Vuka ramen. And then there's CQ noodle, they're spicy. And then there's Tantan noodle for Vietnamese noodle. But if you feel like Indian food, there's clay oven. But you're like, while well, the line is a bit long, there's ocean Indian cuisine on Gary. I just want to say, like, this is the moment. And then there's also uh, Sonomu, that is a Korean restaurant brand new on Gary as well. Today is a day where I really hope that you'll bring out to support all our merchants and to eat in the Richmond. Yeah. But also, please be a good neighbor. Uh, pack it in and pack it out with your trash uh, and any things that you see so that our neighbors who live all around here will be welcome us back again because that's what we want to do. And, and in July, again, August,